What causes the WordPress white screen of death? While some of PHP and database errors usually cause this error. In most cases, the white screen of death is due to an unresponsive script that times out or gets interrupted by your WordPress hosting server. So let's see how to solve this error. Method first. Clear the WordPress cache. To reduce load time, some websites enable browsers to locally save files. This is known as browser caching. Unfortunately, caching can result in errors if the stored files are outdated. After emptying the cache, check if your website is working. Method second. Disable your plugins. It's possible that one of your plugins is causing compatibility issues with your site. A simple fix is to deactivate your plugins, then reactivate them all one at a time. Check the box next to plugin to select all your plugins. Choose deactivate from the bulk actions dropdown, then click apply. Method third. Disable your currently active theme. Similar to plugins, your WordPress theme can become outdated or conflict with a plugin. Sometimes themes also install improperly due to corrupted files. To troubleshoot this issue, start by temporarily replacing the theme with a default WordPress theme. Visit your website. If the white screen of death disappeared, you found the problem. Contact the theme developer about the error and ask for the latest version of the theme. Method 4. Change your memory limit. When you install a plugin, it runs a set of scripts on your WordPress website. Every time the plugin runs, it uses a little bit of your server's memory. To avoid scripts from slowing down your website, WordPress places a memory limit on your plugins. However, when a script needs more memory, it can cause the white screen of death. Just locate your wpconfig.php file and paste the following line of code. This instructs WordPress to use up to 64 megabytes of memory for your scripts. If you've tried all the methods on this list to no avail, one more option is a complete restoration of your site files. For this, you'll need a recent backup of your WordPress site. I hope this video will help you out. Check out our other video as well and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video tutorials like this.